scam is scam. And I beg your pardon, what do you mean by scam is scam? It's Special K's telemarketer turnaround. Well, you have a beautiful boy. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. Everybody told me that. On the Rula and Ryan Show. 104.1 KRBE. Oh, yeah, right. telemarketer Special turnaround. K. It's our favorite. When you get a spam call where it says potential spam, Kevin welcomes those. He has a secret <laughs> phone number that he, people call because, you know, he's logged it that way. And then he has a recording device app in his phone so he can instantly start recording them. Tell us about this one, Kev. Okay, turn my mic on. There we go. All right, so this <laughs> this call is about four and a half minutes long, and I would like you all to guess how many times we get in one of our favorite statements, and that is, holy smokes, seriously. Holy, Holy smokes. smokes. Seriously? Seriously? How long did you say the call was? Four and a half. Oh. Um, I'm going to go ten. Ryan. Right. That's a long call, but he does throw in other things I besides do. that. So I'm thinking twelve. Okay. And then Eric. Uh, I was going to say fourteen, but I'm going to go with thirteen, Bob. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see if we can get lucky thirteen here. Uh, what are they calling about? <laughs> Who knows? Holy smokes. Seriously? <laughs> here we go. Can you hear me better now? Yeah. Yes, well, ma'am. Sir, I'm reaching out to see if you're interested in seeing your property as Houston. Is that right, sir? Holy smokes. Seriously? Well, are you interested in seeing your property, sir? Yes, ma'am. I can't believe you called right now. Holy smokes. Seriously? Okay, sir. Uh, do you have a cash offer in mind? Uh, can go get it. Holy smokes. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. All right, there. Well, thank you. You're welcome, sir. So, yes, ma'am. How much? How much uh, do you have in mind? Well, I thought some uh, fair. Holy smokes! Seriously? I'm sorry, sir. Your voice is breaking up. Hold on. How's your day going, there, ma'am? Holy smokes! Seriously? It's been going fine. Thank you. How are you? Oh, I have had uh, a fantastic. Mint julep already. Holy smoke. Seriously? Go on. Well, do you have a cash offer in mind? I've got all kinds of things in my mind. <laughs> Holy smoke. Seriously? Yes, sir. Well, in terms of price, do you have a number in mind? What you would like to get for your property? Uh, yes, ma'am. Which one would you like to take off my hands there? Holy smoke. Seriously? Well, uh, the property I'm talking about is in Houston. Are you there now, ma'am? Shall I come meet you? Holy smoke, seriously? I'm um, confirming some information, so my acquisition manager called you as a cash officer. Oh, no. You don't got that cash on you, ma'am? Good Lord. Holy smoke, seriously? <laughs> she don't know what to do at this point. She's like, uh... Sir, I want... can I... Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is the property Go on then. Well, I love a good negotiation. Are you trying to haggle me, ma'am? Holy smoke, seriously? Is it currently listed with any realtor, sir? He died. Holy smoke, seriously. Well, is oh. it vacant, or do you live there, or is it rented, sir? Uh, yes, ma'am, all of the above. Ma'am, did you need a place to stay? Are you in trouble? Holy smoke, seriously? Do you live there, or is it rented? I've got a dog named Whistle lives there. He's the sweetest little thing. You like puppy dogs? Holy smokes. Seriously? So you have a tenant? Well, if you call my dog Whistle a tenant, <laughs> he gets his own place, you know. <laughs> Holy smokes. Seriously, he does. So the house is, uh, so the property is vacant, right, sir? Oh, ma'am, please don't go in there. You, There's booby traps. Holy smokes. Seriously. <laughs> How long did you own the property for? I'm the original owner from 1958. Holy smoke, seriously. Okay, uh, so it's not vacant? Well, no. it, it will be. Man, if you if you give me the right price, I'll burn it down. <laughs> Holy smoke, seriously. Oh it's three God. bedrooms and three bathrooms, is that right? Oh, uh, hold on there. Let me check. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to go see. Oh. Uh, oh, God. oh, my dog's here. His name's Whistle. <laughs> Holy smoke, seriously, hold on. Whistle. <laughs> oh, oh. Whistle. Oh. Holy smoke, seriously. I took a tumble. 
Hold on, okay? Okay. Oh, God. Oh. You know, there's a lot of stairs in this house. Holy smoke, seriously. Oh, Lord Jeepers. Have you ever slid down seven flights of stairs? No, sir. Well, if you seen my eye, you would see why that's a not a good idea. Good Lord, I think it's hanging out by the socket. Holy smoke, seriously. Hold on. Ooh, I'm going to pop that thing back in. Ooh. Holy smoke, seriously. Ma'am? Yes? Unfortunately, I snapped off a leg on the tumble. I'm going to have to let you go. Holy smoke, seriously. Well, sir, do you want me to call you back another time? Yes, ma'am. Have a nice day. Holy smoke, seriously. Oh my oh, God! Wow. Twenty four. Uh, yeah, 24. I think I think you're right. Twenty five and oh, twenty five of the God. way because okay, one of them is half. Yeah. Okay, so twenty five. <laughs> un- wow. That has got to be a record. That, that has got to amazing. be a record. I have never gotten it so many <laughs> popping wow. in your up eye. On her. <laughs> yes, you, you had to hang up you. on her. She would not let it go, girl. This girl was. She wanted that all sale. Yes. Focused. I was like, girl, we're like Judge Hildago, like. What? The confidence was not oh, there. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She oh, was shaky, well, wasn't she? Yeah. She's like, you got to make that sale. Holy smoke, yeah. seriously. That's your telemarketer turnaround. <laughs> you snapped off oh. a leg and she doesn't even flinch. Oh, do you want me to call you back later? They don't care. All they is care about okay? is just getting that sale. Well, getting that uh, time on there. At least you were wasting her time. Like, Bravo. Holy smoke, seriously, you wasted her time with 25 of those. <laughs> I was trying to figure out like where holy smokes came from, and I was looking it up, and it, apparently it goes back to like the 1700s. It's when uh, they're the picking a pope. Yeah. So yeah. it's the, the different colored smoke. smokes. Oh, yeah. I remember when they were they picking the pope, and the, you were pope. waiting for the smoke to come out of the uh, Vatican or something like that. It would be like different that. colored smoke. Like oh. one colored smoke says they've well, got one, one says they haven't done it yet. If you watch Euro Trip. That's how I found out about that. How, why they do that Euro trip? They do that a whole scene with the Pope. Uh huh. But it's it's uh not appropriate. Oh no! Uh, I would it's guess if it was on Euro trip, <laughs> probably not. not. Kid friendly. Yeah. I learned about it when they actually were picking the Pope. I remember watching the news. But it's the white smoke is when they still don't have a decision. Black smoke is when they've made the decision. Right. I don't know. I yeah. divorced the Catholics. Well, because they keep sending out, like, the smoke signal through that pipe, and then, and then the press would watch it and be like, okay, well, they still haven't made a decision yet. We're looking for the – maybe the white smoke is where they – I don't know, have to look it up. But, yes, holy smokes. Seriously? Uh, special K at KRBE.com is where you can go to KRBE.com slash uh, prank call requests. We have another curveball with thrown at us. Uh, yeah, I know. The phones, phones are down, are dead. so. Oh, oh, no. Phones are dead. AC dead. Us. Toilet's dead. Elevator's Good dead. Morning. A lot of people dead. vent. How about people vent by texting us and, we and tell us it. what character you want Kevin to vent? Kevin can read the text. Oh, in that character. In the voice. character you want. You've got Leviticus Swaggerton. You've got Chris Tangles. You've got Dakota. What's it? Rook Dakota. Dakota. Bryce. Mm-hmm. The guy you just um, had on just now. I just forgot his name. Beauregard Troubadour. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beauregard so Troubadour, Stanley and Moyle. Okay, 37530 is really our only form of communication with our city, our beloved city. Besides us just talking to each other in this box. We can read your texts at 37530. <laughs> and we have a great lady. We have a lady whistle down text, Kevin. I saw that. Lady whistle down. Hey, that, that's a quite a diatribe there, but we'll maybe Dearest we'll be part of it. Dearest gentle reader, <laughs> we're going to have to read a lady. What does she call herself? Calif- Califi or Califi? Califi? Lady Califi? It sounds about somebody's right. Somebody's given us, yeah, somebody's given us a, a Bridgerton lady whistle down parody text about what happened with the storm. We'll get with that one too next on the Rule and Ryan show. So and is, more heat. Th- yeah. And more frustration. This is basically <laughs> I'm so sick of the text edition. Well, before we get started with this, I want to remind you guys from 4 to 7 today, the American Red Cross volunteers are going to be on hand in the KHOU 11 studios to take your calls if you do have some normalcy back because you did get your power back. I know somebody texted us yesterday. She feels bad, almost bad that she has her power back because she knows so many people are struggling. Well, this is your way to give back. Your you donation help. will help hundreds of people across the greater Houston area. The number you want to hold on to for that 4 to 7 p.m. window is 713-654-11. 1111. Join us as we stand for Houston together and at 37530, which is our text number. You guys are letting us have it. 37530. I'm going to read this one real fast because it's very cute. This person said, 
Thank you for all that you do. You guys are so dedicated to the city and the people in it from Harvey, COVID, freak storms, and not barrel. We can rely on you. You are my normalcy. Oh, I love Aww. you. You are my silver lining. That's so sweet. Thank you so much for that. We're normal. We do have right. a, yeah, we're the normalcy. Um, if you have not watched the series Bridgerton on Netflix, you may have heard about Bridgerton, and it is set in the 1800s in high society of London. So Julie Andrews, yes, Mary Poppins herself, is the narrator playing a character named Lady Whistledown. You never see her, you just hear her voice. She does the narrative of the gossip papers that she writes. It's Lady Whistledown Society Pages. So this is like an 1800s uh, gossip girl? Yep. Pretty much. And she's original. She was original. And somebody wrote us <clears throat> a Bridgerton-themed Centerpoint Frustration Houston Post Barrel Gossip page. Are y'all ready for it? Let me clear my throat. Hold on, Kevin. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <laughs> it's going to get annoying because I can't do her voice the way she does it. But I mean, you have started, and then when you when you can't do it anymore, then Kevin, you take over. Okay, so Kevin, you can follow along, right? We'll do like a relay. Do follow Kev, along, do a relay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Dearest gentle reader, it is upon this, the fourth day of our town's lamentable condition of stifling heat and airless nights, that I must share with you the whispers I have gathered while promenading through our fair streets. It appears as some kind of linemen have divulged that they stand ready and eager to restore our comforts if only they were directed to the proper quarters. You want to take over, Kevin? <laughs> Furthermore, the West harbors a less dense population and fewer essential establishments, leading one to speculate that the priority given to vacation retreats and weekend abodes over the homes of the industrious township folk is a decision born of questionable intent. Fear not for those among us without the luxury of sitting upon plush cushions. A modest contingent of 30 work crews has been disposed across the remaining parts of town in a vigilant effort to assist us all. To those fortunate souls who have regained their power, I urge you to resist the temptation to restock your ice boxes, as their reliability remains precarious at best. Ooh. And so, my dear readers, let us hold fast to hope, I'm losing my accent now, that ah. it shall not be a fortnight before we once again enjoy the gentle cooling breezes within our castles. Remember, when King Centerpoint bids us to eat cake, we are not, not bound, bound to, to comply. comply. And always recall, guillotines are surprisingly easy to procure. <laughs> Yours in vigilance, <laughs> Lady Halafi. Wow. Wow. Jeez, uh, that person's text of the year. To write that much? Wow. That was and we epic. skipped the half middle of it because yeah. it was longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use chat GPT like Sam It was looks thinking? like it did. Uh, it, it was awesome. That was really on point. It took some point. effort. It took some effort to put that whole thing together. Oh yeah. Oh great. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so for anybody who has their frustration at um, the end, like you, you thought you've reached it all and you can't go more, you're gonna have to go more. Dig deep and find it. The patience. Pack your patience because we just have to wait. Be kind we of the linesmen to wait. Th that you see. Um, Sam, bring me up real quick. I did not know this. We have a, uh, a lister line where somebody's pointing something out about these poor linesmen. You know, they're in town. 10,000 of them come into town to help us get back on our feet. Hi, guys. My name is Jana. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Allegedly, they didn't stage these guys to come in, so there's no hotel rooms for them to stay in. These poor guys came in from out of state, have nowhere to sleep, sleeping in the trucks, working their butts off, trying to get power back to all these people. Do better, Center Point. You can do better than that. That's sad. Wow. So, oh. yeah, but no place to stay? I don't want to blame the lines, men and women. No, they're hard they're working. working their ass off. It's the... Whoever the head of the center point is, or whoever tells the people where to go, because we, um, we're, I'm sure we all get the same text and and photos of mm -hmm. all these guys and girls from mm -hmm. like Los Angeles. They're here. They're like, I can't go anywhere. I got here at eight. 
Um, I didn't get my first assignment until noon. It's like, and what? the other thing that How scares that me is that it was a Cat 1, and if if La Nina is going to give us a little more, uh-huh. then they yeah. only get stronger as the season draws on. I mean, at, at, for a hot minute, I think it was up to a 4 or 5 when it came across the Caribbean, right? And then it slowed down once it got... It definitely slowed down. Mm-hmm. It was, like, originally a 5, and then uh-huh. it just slowed down. I thought it, it hit did. Jamaica. Didn't it hit Jamaica as a 3? Jamaica, I think, got hit as a three, and then it slowed down. And I just thought, okay, well, let's see. It's gonna. I mean, barrel is still going way up. I mean, right? Isn't barrel still like day, the um, in New Hampshire? I believe the remnants? it was. Or, no, it was Vermont. Okay. The remnants of barrel still. has flooded Vermont. Yes. Wow. Like, 180 rescues yesterday in Vermont because of Jeez. the floodwaters from barrel. It's you know so it crazy how it just. Do you hear the? Do you see the text? Like I saw this person. I forget their name, but they're like, mm-hmm. "You guys know how much I love this city of Houston, but I just don't know if I can live here anymore." Yeah, it breaks my I, hear, heart I, hear I, know, I hear a lot of people saying that because I'm like, "I love this city. I want to. I want to like die here." But the but weather. Like, I don't know if I want to go be old here because. We see the apocalypse and... every couple months now. It, 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 it happens, literally. and we're not learning from our mistakes. I mean, we had. That... That's what's tough. The retro back in May, and you'd think that we'd be a little bit more prepared this time around because they knew this was coming. There should have been men on the ground right from the start. And well, the problem is, is that a lot of these guys from out of state, and this is in the Chronicle on Cron.com, they even admit it, that there was a problem with communication because these linesmen, they show up from out of state, but they've got different procedures, and they have to be taught that. So... If this had been done ahead of time, and they knew it was coming, mm-hmm. perhaps well, we wouldn't be in this situation. But even how long does it take yeah. to teach that? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's not that far off the grid of whatever they're supposed to be learning how to do. I mean, they all have the basic skill down. It's just a matter of, what is it, a couple? I mean, I don't feel like in the past we ever heard that they needed so much extra time to train. The thing that is is bothering me so much is, yes, to your point, Eric, I, I have heard that a lot in the last two, tw- 48 hours. Uh, people saying, I, I do love this city so much, but uh, how much more weather chaos can I take? There are other cities that have their own problems, but it doesn't seem as bad as this when you're in it for this long. Like, are what there is any the safe cities though? I mean, yeah, what is the safe city? What's the natural disaster in Colorado? What's the natural disaster in Montana? What's in that? Do you want to live in Nebraska? I mean, where are you going to go? So California's got probably. earthquakes oh, and mudslides. I mean, there's a trade off with anything. We didn't have any natural yeah. disasters in Delaware or Pennsylvania. Mm-mm. Oh, Except I don't know if that's necessarily down, true. Because I was born in that state. Blizzards? When I was a kid, we had a hurricane. But you moved out when you were like seven years old but, or something. But I remember our whole town went underwater. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. I do remember that. that one hurricane of 1958. Yeah, 20 plus years. And doesn't, if Sam, doesn't no. um, Pennsylvania get like buried under snow sometimes where it's super dangerous and y'all lose power and people die because it's freezing? That, Does that happen like no. once a winter? No. 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 no, no. They're ready for snow. Those yes, lines are ready for yeah, handles yeah now. I grew up in the 80s and you 90s in Chicago. All four we, seasons. we had terrible blizzards, and that was technology was nothing like what we have now. Mm-hmm. We survived. Right. Here's something we still have to bring up, though. I was uh, researching this morning, and Houston hospitals are getting people showing up with carbon monoxide poisoning. It is still happening, an abnormally high number of people being treated. Like at Memorial Hermann, they're having to put these people in a hyperbaric chamber, which is where they get the pressurized oxygen. But the common mistake is people have their generators place too close or they have them in the garage and they just barely crack the garage door and it doesn't provide enough ventilation these carbon monoxide fumes get in the house so it is happening at high alarming rates that they're having to treat and, all these people y- with carbon monoxide poison well and then what happens when you treat somebody let's say you need a medical procedure and they cannot release you because it's not safe for you to go home to a house that has no power so didn't they like open something at NRG as like a staging area for people to be discharged yeah. in the hospital but go there as a middleman place Place. Yeah. Because how are you going to go home? If you just finished some procedure you needed, you can't be going home to a 100-degree house. Jeez. Yeah. So, I mean, and here's the thing. I, I don't know how many people, maybe you can text us at 37530. I know your power is out, but is your water out? Because during the freeze, the toilets weren't working because the pipes had frozen. But most people have water except for our building. I don't know why. I don't know we why. There's, a, there's a bunch of them. Um, I joke he's my meat daddy, but he lives mm-hmm. out in like uh, past spring and he doesn't, he just got water. But mm-hmm. it doesn't make sense. Like how are we losing power and water? Oh, here's why. Even here's someone why. in the Heights didn't have power. Here's why. Or water earlier. You need, you need power to run the pump stations that pressurize the water that goes into our homes. Mm. So all around the city, we have these little pump stations 
reasons that that um, continue to increase the pressure and keep the water moving. So if that if your neighborhood is out and inside your neighborhood is one of these pump stations, yeah. then you are not going to get that pressurized water that you need. Can somebody explain so, to me? Uh, call, even Audrey didn't, didn't have water. Call the line, yeah, too. Because uh, we Crazy. since we can't get people to vent and they want to vent. Yeah. They can call the Lister line and uh, Ryan, you could look, you know. I'll go through them right now. So 713-278-VENT yeah. yeah. if you want to add your own two cents, your frustration, or maybe you've got ideas for solutions. You know, I've had so many people uh, ask me the question, hey, in Houston, why do you guys not have these lines underground so they don't constantly keep getting Because we over? flood. Yeah. And then they're like, okay, well, they're going to get drowned. Well, we have yeah, I think there's the right solution for us here. I don't know. I don't know what the... ground that get water. I mean, I mean, maybe can they build something, make something that is sealed tight? I don't know. That's yeah. what I'm saying, Eric. Like, what, what do other cities do that also get floods, but they have underground power lines? I mean, how does that work? You That's know, I, the I don't know what the answer is. Seven, seven million people. Seven and a half million people yeah. here. We get floods. I mean, we see floods. You said in New Hampshire. How many people is that? That 100, 180 people got rescued yesterday from the flooding. So that's a huge chunk of their, if, that's a huge percentage of their population. If they heard like, what you say, 100,000, you got 180 that yeah. need to get rescued from flooding. People don't remember how wide we spread because we are the fourth largest city. Okay. In the metro proper, it's like, you know, 4 million, but we are seven and a half million affected, maybe more. Because you're going all the way like Needville, Sealy, Fulcher, Rocheron, Pasadena, Pearland. I mean, it's not just Houston. Of course, for the national news, it's Houston. But it's so much more than are that. Are they even covering yeah. it national? I don't even know. Yeah, they are. Yes, I just I just saw a thing on you. KHOU. <laughs> they were doing, um, they did a story <laughs> yesterday. Good Morning America, and I've been watching ABC probably more than the other hand? networks. Uh -huh. um, no, Strahan didn't come here, but maybe that he's like, hey, can you keep this on top of the news? I don't know how much power he has on that but we definitely have good morning america correspondents here at least three of them because they are broadcasting from places where like the lineman trucks are lined up or they're mm. broadcasting from places where the tree is still on top of the roof and they're just talking about the houston power crisis it's the houston power it crisis. is a crisis too i mean you feel completely cut off from the world i was just joking there but i don't know what in god's name is happening no cell service no power no answers as to when it's coming back. No transparency whatsoever. So a lot of people. It's in just the Lister line. Yes. Seven one three two seven eight vent. And coming up next, how about some free food? We have a nice little gift for you if you're looking for some free hot food. Yeah, you're gonna win next on the Rule and Ryan <laughs> Show. Celebrity Scoop on KRBE. And right, it's brought to you by Tacaria Arandas. I cannot roll my R's to say Tacaria Arandas. That was impressive, yes. Ryan. That. Thank you. That was really good. <laughs> I was impressed. So we're having all sorts of problems behind the scenes here, but hey, yeah, we're being it's honest fine. with you. We are here. We are here. Sam's got it under control. I got this. Sam We've been doing this since Eric, what? Like Namag. Monday under these uh, conditions. conditions. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. And uh, we also are podcasting anything, so if you miss I just wanted to kind of uh, reset a little bit for what's going on because I know there's a lot going on and different people are tuning in and different people are listening and, you know, all that good stuff. But we are still going to put everything on our podcast at krbe.com or wherever you get your podcast. So if you need updates, if you just want to be entertained with the family, uh, krbe.com. We also have the Rula and Ryan show Raw Feed, which is the show after the show. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have their phones and that's an easy way for you to stream if you can't watch TV. Okay, so one thing we want to remind everybody, Brian, before you do this, yeah. I don't want to lose this text, but this is something to think about, and I don't think this is going to be true. Are you guys ready for the the baby boom come April 2025 because of the hurricane and oh you know, yeah, the electricity Ooh. being out? But my thing is, it's too hot. It's too it's hot. It's too hot. Who, who, no, I don't think a lot of people are scrumping right now because it's like 100 degrees. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure like, there are people. You I can name your kid. My wife doesn't if you make have a kid me, so. right now from this hurricane, you have to name them Beryl. Beryl. Or Beryl oh, Lisa. No. There's no other Beryl name you can pick. You have to Beryl name Lisa. them after raw, this though, hurricane. Sam, isn't it too raw to be named after something so horrific in yeah. this city that no. we hate? Then no. it will no. be a It'll fun be reminder of all of the pain that you suffered. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not at all. But speaking of all that pain that people have suffered, KHOU is doing something great with the American Red Cross from 4 to 7 today. 
Uh, American Red Cross volunteers are going to be on hand at the KHOU 11 studios, and they'll be taking your calls. So you can make a donation. You know, maybe you do have power back and, you know, you're seeing so many people suffer around Houston. You can actually make a donation and help hundreds of people across the Houston area. So what you want to do is enter this phone number. Put this in your phone. It's 713-654-1111. Once again, that's 713-654-1111. And starting at 4 o'clock, join us as we stand for Houston together. So that's at 4 now, o'clock. Now, people uh, that don't have power, maybe they'll try and go see movies or something just to, you know, thank God for the Astros the last three days. They, uh-huh. they were given uh, tickets like $5 for $5 tickets, for certain, yeah. certain areas of the game, and they had mm-hmm. like 38,000 people last night. And, you know, wow. Just, just to get you something to do for three hours. Yeah. But you know what, Eric? So we're, up. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, we're just talking about movies, and Ahmad saw the movie I was talking about with Nicolas Cage. Yes, Long Legs. What's it about? Uh, So basically, it's about a female detective. Think like um, Silence of the Lambs a little bit. She's going after the serial killer, but uh, played by Nick Cage. But it's weird because he doesn't kill the people. He does something to where he, like, convinces the dads to uh, kill the whole family, then kill himself. And so that's wow. they're trying to find the connection as to what's making these families do this. And uh, the lead detective, it's uh, Micah Monroe. I don't uh-huh. know if you guys have seen the movie It Follows about the sexually transmitted ghost. What? Have you, have you guys <laughs> no, not seen yeah. that? That's, that's I saw the one. second one. The first one. It's about the ghost. Like you have to sleep. <laughs> the ghost follows you, right? And you have uh-huh. to sleep with someone to pass it on. But you have to tell them because if the ghost gets them, then it comes back to you. It's like a chain of like a sexually transmitted ghost. I swear it's I've a good movie. It. it sounds crazy. That it's called It Follows. That can be a, a great excuse on roses. Honestly, a ghost uh, gave me it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but the lead from that movie is the lead in this. She does such a good job. Her alone, she just makes you so uncomfortable. She's uh-huh. so, like, timid. You're like, girl, if he pops up, are you really going to shoot him? Like, you're shaking with the gun. Well, like, why is it called Long Legs? Or is that, you know, a, is that Eric, a spoiler? I think it might be a spoiler. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think us. it might be a but spoiler. But to um, push that movie, they had this, like, phone number, and we called yes. it. And so I have the audio of that. Oh. just as something before you fun. play that... Sam, so before you play that, let's have a mod impersonate what the Nicolas Cage serial killer sounded like <laughs> last night when you watched it. How would he sound? Hey. Oh my gosh, that was awful. <laughs> that was awful. That was awful. And he's like, barely in it, by the way. Oh, really? Um, really? Oh, he's not in it a lot. Like, hey, little girl. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Play okay, the call. Okay, play here's, the call. The, here's the call. Here's what he sounds like. There she is. What's your name, little angel? Nice to meet you. Oh. I'll be waiting. Ew. Oh, yeah, no. man. Nicholas no. Cage oh. is unrecognizable in this movie. Oh, if really? you didn't tell me it was Nick Cage, what I would not have like? known. Really? Like, a bloated Marilyn Manson. I, that's the best nice. way to describe no, it. Really? Okay. Like his face is so puffy. Like Ugh. you cannot so recognize. So he's a, yeah, he's a human though, right? He's not like a ghost. That no, he's so. a human. It's just some. I, I don't want to say too much, but like, yeah, uh, he's not Would killing you, the uh, families. Okay, he does something to where the dads want to kill the whole family and oh. kill themselves, and that's where they're trying to make the connection. Like, what is happening? Do you Why recommend this movie? It? Oh, a thousand percent. It's so creepy. I loved it. Um, okay. It's a great so, way to get out of the house. You went to the movie theater to see this, Yes, correct? I okay. love seeing you a horror movie so opening night. how long is night. this? Is it like a two-hour movie? or uh, About two hours, okay. yeah. It wasn't that long. I was just so creepy. It's not all about, like, the jump scares and all that. It's just really creepy. Yeah. Well, I don't like creepy movies, but I do like <laughs> Wings, and that's why we want to hook you guys up real quick with a $100 gift card to Big City Wings. Big City Wings is big on wings, big on specials, and big on sports. Mm-hmm. You can find a location near you at bigcitywings.com or you can just text us right now because our phone line is down text us 37530 text the keyword wings 37530 so that you can get that hundred a dollar gift card to big city wings and is that uh, the real text or did you just wing I it just, there and you I just, just winging it, it. <laughs> yeah i can yeah. tell <laughs> wings uh, yeah well wings, i mean uh, our phone is down and we stopped yeah to, we yeah, have to we i have mean to. i don't know if you had a word or something because i like that i wings. went there before the movies uh i recommend the mango habaneros perfect mm, yeah. so that text good. wings to 37530 yeah. and if we can we will give you a call
Now, now, here we go. go. Time for the Rula and Ryan show on KRBE to tell you what's going down in H-Town. All right, so the Texas Department of Insurance is saying that people might be able to get up to $500 in insurance payments for spoiled food in the fridge because of barrel. So the department is saying that homeowners and renters' policies pay up to an amount under certain circumstances, so you should absolutely check with your insurance company. Yesterday, I had to clean out that fridge, yeah, and it was horrendous, so, I, so bad. I looked into that insurance thing yesterday, and you got to meet your deductible for a lot of things. Mine is about forty six hundred dollars, so I got to pay forty six dollars, forty six hundred in first before they release any money out. Forty six hundred. Forty six hundred. High deductible. Yeah. My deductible Damn. is so what, high. What, what's for my yeah, roof, right? It's, isn't yours like mm, yeah five or something like that? I mean, yeah. this yeah, is how probably. you get. This is just how you get a little bit lower rate. Is that you have yep. that higher deductible? High deductible. Yep. Yeah. Well, you might be experiencing some serious storms this morning. So rain yep. and thunderstorms are expected to fire up. Uh, they've already really kind of hit the coast. They should make their way inland, reaching Houston, the Metro I-10 corridor by mid-morning. So we're looking at some pretty heavy weather, just like we had yesterday. Centerpoint still expects about half a million people to still not have power by Monday. That's one week after barrel hit. Still a half a million of us will be without power. Damn. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still without it. Uh, I know everybody in the neighborhood's without yeah, it. Yeah, the Charlestown's house is still out of it. It's going to yeah. bring the generator over Edo, there. East on town. Mm-hmm. You might be asking yourself, I don't know if you guys were in the same boat. I don't have any cell phone service like when I'm at home. Like No cell phone service. And that is because the cell towers are subject to the same power issues as the homes. They rely on electricity from the power grid. When the power is out in your neighborhood, it may also be out for the tower. And that's you know why I have to get in the car and drive a couple miles away oh, to find a cell tower. That's why I'm not responding to texts. Never, I'm not getting anything. I can't get texts, can't get internet, can't get phone calls, nothing. And so many Houstonians are in the same boat. How are you sleeping? Yeah. Not comfortably. I, I, I mean, a couple hours I can't here sleep and there. It's like eighty degrees. I can't imagine ninety four in my house. I think last night it said um, eighty eight degrees inside. So you put a fan on you, it's just warm air, it's just blowing, blowing in your hot face. air on you. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 not easy, but you know, look, I'm not complaining because so many people have it so much worse. Let's not forget, people have lost their lives during this storm. People have lost pretty much everything properties destroyed it's mm -hmm. you know it's a tough time and once again i'd like to remind everybody about this telethon that's coming up for this afternoon so it's the american red cross partnering with khou channel 11 if you get a chance program this in your phone it's 713-654-1111 once again that's 713-654-1111 and maybe you'd like to help your fellow houstonian khou is partnering up with uh, the american red cross and you can make a difference and that's what's going down in H-Town. Now, coming up next. We have a lot of listener lines, but we told people to call in I'm because trying. our phone line's down. So we said call our vent line, and uh, they did. So Yeah, I'm trying um, to get it. Brian's, Brian's going through there to make sure there's no cursing. And also, before we uh, check in that, we also have the keyword for you to go see Olivia Rodrigo in Sydney, Australia. So don't go anywhere because we have that coming up in just a couple minutes. It's the Rule and Ryan Show on 104.1 KRBE.